Salve de Cabo and welcome to another episode for the Funk It Pod from the <laughs> emergency podcast studio here. Because if you're watching, uh, you're seeing that I'm in a different, less comfortable spot while I'm moving around here to find my, my perfect position. Because uh, the pollution is just still so bad here in Bangkok. Usually I record outside in my, my small little green corner. Um, on on the patio balcony, um, but yeah, the the pollution is it's it's worse than in weeks now. It's crazy. the The pollution scale says one eighty nine, which is like dark red. And if if you're a you know, visual person, um, it says like unhealthy for for everybody. Unhealthy. Uh, so right now, going out with if you go out with like a filtered mask, uh, yeah, you can actually really visually like see it yeah, like i can't i can't even look i don't know i can't see the horizon so to speak i mean what you see is the horizon but just like skyscrapers in bangkok and I, maybe i can i can see like i don't know 500 meters in the distance but not more which is crazy so yeah anyways that's why different setting right now the sound should be the same maybe even slightly better because less this the disturbance from the outside but therefore my cats are around me so you might hear some meowing in the background but okay that's that now that that is out of the way let's talk about what i want to talk about media prof reacts to and what i'm react, reacting to today and you can if you're watching the video you see me like moving around with my body i, I try to uh, uh, be calm and you see me talking or hear me talking faster because i want to react to chris rock's live comedy special on netflix because i think it's a one once in a lifetime no it's it's, it's it's a new one new thing it's a, it's a first time that's what i'm trying to say it's a first time thing like a live comedy special like not recorded live and then showing but doing it live like a live stream while recording that comedy like a live concert like a like just a comedy show live pretty cool idea i mean it's not nothing super crazy because of course there are live comedy shows but streaming it live is pretty cool and i have a few thoughts on that not that I would be a stand-up comedian myself, even though my students would sometimes maybe say that. Um, at least that I'm, that I'm like a, like a, maybe they wouldn't call me a stand-up comedian, they would call me like a clown or something. Uh, but um, I do have a few ideas because, well, I teach media stuff, right? And so public speaking, even though sometimes I struggle with speaking on the podcast, um, media production, um, digital strategies, all of those things, but now when we apply to, to the stand-up comedy special and to like how Netflix produced it and how Netflix streamed it and so on and so on. I think there are just a few interesting takeaways there. And I'm also a huge, as you probably know, if you've followed the podcast for a bit, uh, a huge stand-up comedy fan, obviously. Um, and I, I, I was thinking about like doing like a, a podcast on that, but then it's going to be like, yeah, who are you to judge stand-up comedy, right? So, um, but yeah, so... I, th I found it very interesting. Um, I think Chris Rock is great. Great at what he does. Was it the... Okay, like, let's get the personal opinion out of the way and then I talk about like those different aspects um, of, of, of the show, like the, the streaming experience, the podcast, uh, the, podcast the, the uh, production and, and so on, right? So um, personal opinion first, I think Chris Rock is awesome. Um, was it the best comedy special ever? No, it was not. Um, was it good? Nevertheless, yes, it was. In, in, in my humble opinion. So that's my personal opinion. It's out of the way. I'll try not to to let it influence the rest of what I'm talking about too much, okay? Um, okay, so now from a storytelling point of view, that's also one of the things we teach a lot at university, right? Storytelling. From a storytelling point of view, I ha I like it. I like it. I, I saw lots of like, especially like meme pages and like pop culture pages online. Um, kind of like hating a little bit on Chris Rock. I, I'm not sure how, why this happened now. If... Will Smith would have punched you in the face, you would also talk about it a year later. I'm just saying, right? So, I mean, it's Will Smith. It's the Oscars. I'm going to talk about it for the next five years if it gives me material. Just just, just saying. Um, all right. So, having that said, um, I, so I'm, I'm not criticizing Chris Rock for coming out with a special that centered around Will Smith punching him a year later. I, I read a lot like, it's a year later, move on, man. No, doesn't have to. It was a big event. It was the biggest thing for like a few months. So 
he's totally right to talk about it whenever, however he wants to. Um, I also think that it was smart from a storytelling point of view um, how he how he used it like at certain points in the special so he didn't just get it all out of the system in the beginning he like he was sprinkling it in in between right and in the in the middle of the set when he was talking about like i have enough beef with rappers already i don't need more and he said like two times that was that was nice just a sprinkle in 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 there and then he went like full circle at the very end so this is good storytelling there like he started in the beginning um so like when he said like do you 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 think words hurt He's never been punched in the face. Um, so that was, was his opening premise. Then keeps talking a little bit more than like different aspects, like family life, whatever. Then like, I, I have enough beef with the rappers already. I sprinkle in, then moves on again. Family life ends on. And at the end, he goes like hardcore into Will Smith, um, which is nice, nice, which is smart because it just, it's like the clippable segment at the end, right? It's like when people remember like, ha what? <laughs> now he's like hardcore old school Chris Rock just laying into someone. And that also makes the story go full circle. So that makes sense to me. And from a storytelling point of view, I think well done. I think, I mean, in the end, like when he had like this mic drop moment, it wasn't like a really mic drop moment, in my opinion. It could have been like a bit more like, mm, a bit more oomph. <laughs> um, but still, I think it was well structured, well done. And especially for it being live, it was like, it was like well executed, in my opinion, the, the whole story part. Um, I also, as you can see, I also try not to spoil with the jokes or anything, obviously. So that's why I'm like, try to talk around it a little bit, beat a little bit around the bush. But I, I, I think you get what I'm saying, right? So I think from a storytelling point of view, that was pretty well done. From production view point of view, I think it was also well done. It was very basic, right? So it was a basic setting, a basic stage, like some lights in the background, um, like Netflix style. Um, fair enough. Um, what's... Like, I was wondering how they're going to do it was just um, how they're going to use the cameras because Chris Rock walks a lot, right? So that's why I like, was saying in the beginning, I'm moving my body so much because I talk about Chris Rock because Chris Rock does not stand still, right? He walks around, he uses his body, his body language is like very expressive. Um, he yells a lot, but I mean, that's fine with the mic and everything. But like, just I was wondering like, how do they do it with the camera? Because very often a stand-up special or stand-up comedy special is like the stand-up comedian either sits, stands, like in like within like a meter or so maybe. Like I go a little bit back and forth, they go to the left, to the right, have like a bit of water and then that's it. But Chris Rock was very physical, so the camera had to follow them. And it was like very basic, so there was nothing. Like some close-ups, sure, zooms in between, well done. Um But other than that, like just like panned out and then just following him on stage, which was fine which totally worked which is like if you're watching a, a music uh, um, a concert what's the thing called the music thing a concert it's like watching a concert right so i think that's all you needed because i mean the star is not the production the star is chris rock and what he has to say so i think that was that was well done well executed um could the cuts have been better at times maybe um the transitions maybe a little bit smoother but overall that's not what you expect from a comedy special you don't want like super effects or whatever um no one's judging it based on transitions you judge it based on the content and therefore i think the production was fine let chris rock shine nothing went wrong all good um yeah audience wise um the audience seemed to be really into it or the audience was like I mean, but if you go to such a thing, you're like, you're ready to laugh, right? I mean, you're like, I want to see Chris Rock and I want to be entertained and I'm going to, I like Chris Rock and he's going to be funny. So the audience obviously was like very appreciative of Chris Rock, uh, but the laughs came at the right point. It sounded, it sounded well, it sounded good actually also via the stream, right? Sometimes the laugh doesn't really fit. Uh, Andrew Schultz talked about this a lot, like, like you have to pace the joke so that the laugh also um, hits at the right time and that there's no like pause that's too long in between and I thought that was very well done like so the, the pacing was very well done of uh, of the, the special of the content by Chris Rock that was, that was awesome um, so yeah overall I think it was a perfect perfect execution of a live stream of a, a live event and that leads me to thinking maybe Netflix should do this more often because Netflix clearly has the capabilities obviously right um, as a streaming service to do live streaming they, they have the, te the technology the technical background they have the people that are able to do it so why not do it more often 
Uh, I think that's a great idea. Um, so I, I'm looking forward to more live content on Netflix. I think that that could be something that could also set them apart. Now, other streaming providers might think the same and they're like, yeah, let's jump into the live streaming service as well. Let's do more live events. Um, but I think that's what, what could boost any streaming service provider, be it a Netflix, HBO, whatever that, that might be. I think live events could really be something to boost um, those streaming providers, in my opinion. So yeah, the war on streaming and streaming war and so on, I think live events could be something now everyone's looking into because, let's be honest, we like live events. And the cool thing is you can watch it after. If you didn't catch it live, you can re-watch it again. On it's, now it's on Netflix, right? It's awesome. It's perfect. So if you have the chance to be live with your friends, with a community, you can live tweet at the same time. You can share inside thoughts and so on. It's awesome. But if you can't, different time zones, whatever, would work, but not, you just watch it right after. It's right after the Netflix. not like a, a football match. You have to DVR it. Otherwise, it's gone, right? So this is not just gone. It's right there. It's, I think it's a perfect, uh, a perfect opportunity for more interactive, creative content. Bring a community in. It's something that's important anyways for engagement. Um, so I think, why not? So I'm looking forward to more live content there. I think um, yeah, that's a, that's a great opportunity. So that's my thoughts on Chris Rock. Like very short because I don't want to mess things up with the jokes or spoil anything. I think it was, it was funny. I was laughing. Um, a lot. I, was it like hardcore belly laughs? No. Was it like laughing like, ha, that was funny? Yes. Um, certain aspects maybe went on for a little bit too long. The thing about the family, daughter and so on, maybe this was a bit too much. But hey, that's fine. Um, the Will Smith stuff was like used as like a storytelling tool more or less like to start things off because everyone was waiting for it to sprinkle it sprinkle it in in between and then to go full circle at the end um to bring it all back again well done well executed um good on chris rock for doing this uh, the live stream worked very well i'm looking forward to more um of those live events and i'm looking forward to seeing more of chris rock now doing stand-up again as well so i hope he has more appearances everywhere i hope you'll see more of him in the media wherever he might, might pop up maybe even on some podcasts who knows um looking forward to this overall i was happy with that one hour i was also the perfect length in my opinion it doesn't need to be longer so i was happy it was like an hour then it's done great pacing great timing um all good thanks for that uh so chris rock so let me know what, what you think what are your thoughts on, on on the chris rock special also great title by the way and how he how he explained the title at, at the towards the end fantastic uh so that was great storytelling too um let me know what you think like i do you agree that like the lots of those pop culture meme pages out there like the grand wizard if you follow for example was laying into into chris rock um while also bi uh, um, picking him, him up when he talked about Will Smith's wife, though, <laughs> which was also kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, there's lots of hate there online, but also lots of people coming to the def defense of Chris Rock. Saying, it was funny. It was great. Blah, blah. So what, what do you think is my question? Um, and I have to end this podcast now because I want to talk more slowly again. But if you talk about Chris Rock, you have to talk like Chris Rock. So <laughs> let me know your thoughts on Chris Rock, on the special, on the live streaming experience. Did it work for you? Didn't it work for you? Would you do this more often? Or would you watch things like this more often? Would you pay for that? For example, uh, as always, like, share, subscribe, follow uh, at FunkyPod on social media, FunkyPod at gmail.com. If you want to say something, say something nice. Um, yeah, rate this podcast if possible. Uh, until then, well, as always, stay funny. I said like, share, subscribe. Take care, stay safe, and we'll talk very soon. Sorry, Cup. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not.